Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find 
They have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in, 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly, make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. And there's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. You'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. 4706. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Oh God, this isn't happening, really? Oh no, not now. This is ridiculous. Someone else deal with this shit.
Sheikh Al Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. The server room should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Yeah, I changed my mind. It was an insane idea to start with. Exploding golf ball. I don't want blood on my hands. I've never seen anything like this. I promise I'll start attending anger management. I know I have issues. Admit it. That's the first step, right? Yeah, I don't know. That must have done something. Can you see anything different in the room? Good. We're in. Now all you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Building cameras are now disabled. Good work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. Looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Andy. Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this, 47. Ship tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye. Looking good today, sir. Thank you. 
The partners are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, use it to start the show. Now we'll just wait for the partners to be alone. Then you can activate the room's lockdown feature. he wants to talk about? No, but I've known this man for a long time. He wouldn't call us up here without good reason. I trust his people will have multiple scenarios ready for us very soon. Which reminds me, we need to discuss Alexa. <laughs> What's there to discuss? She left us. At the most critical moment, she abandoned ship. That family has never been trustworthy, and Alexa just proved to us that she, and indeed any of her heirs, isn't up to the task. I agree. She displayed extreme poor judgment. What's this? Carl? Did you do that? I certainly did not. I have no idea what's going on. Gentlemen. What's the meaning of this? You. You're the one responsible for all this. Gray, what do you want? Something that has been a long time due. Revenge. Revenge? How banal. You killed Cobb, Navikov, Caruso, the Washington twins, everyone at Haven. You broke into our bank. And you outed Providence to the world. Whatever perceived slight we've done to you is insignificant to the amount of damage you've caused us. You've caused the world. You're a murderous terrorist. Nothing more. What did we ever do to you anyway? You specifically? Nothing. Providence? Everything. Providence made me. And at the flick of a pen, Providence broke me. I'm just returning the favor. Providence has ruined the lives of countless people, expecting and facing no consequence for its actions. You take for yourselves and those who support you, and you burn everyone and everything else to the ground from the comfort of the shadows. No more. You're delusional. Exposing us achieved nothing beyond moving a few pieces around on a board much more complicated than you can fathom. The world believes we're dead. What more do you want? Me? Nothing. My friend, however, well, let's just say he's a bit of an expert. I'm just here to watch you die. 47, finish it. 47, what finish the? it. Get out of here. Where the hell is that thing? Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. 47. Thank you. I'll meet you at the rendezvous on the edge of town. Finish it. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar al-Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zayna Kazim. Sir, I understand. The 
but you can't enter without being searched. Zana Kazim, a.k.a. the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now what is his business here? It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it, and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. into my body. It's a smoking area. If you don't like it, piss off. Jesus, I was just asking nicely. No, you were being a bitch. Now go away and binge eat some celery or whatever idiots like you do. Or I'll do something worse than blowing cancer in your face. Oh my God, what is your problem? <coughs> you are sick. You have no idea. Yes. Oh. Looking good today, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. This, uh, this will be over in no time. Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Ben. Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you. Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a... Uh, well, let's come... Hey, where the hell are you off to? Come back here! I'm talking to you! You, you leave now, the deal is... I'll get straight to the point. I have a... Uh, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before. Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration. 
and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. Long time no see. Mr. Look, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. But there has to be a limit. Eventually, the man's going to run out of atmosphere. Greetings. Plenty of places where we could talk. I hope it's worth it. Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right. Whatever it is, better be good. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Good man, looking good. Have a lovely day. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Wonder if there are any other blood sucking journalists down there. Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Mr. Kazim, please. Let the pros do their follow job. me. Have you seen the view yet? It's quite spectacular. On a clear day, you get a wonderful view of the Arabian Desert. It's a sight to behold, the vastness of it. Back in China, this would never be possible because of all the smog. Go, can you? I mean, some countries go out of their way to fund the arts, and you get some really unique results. Look at Canada. A lot of weird stuff comes out of Canada. So, it's just art, do you man. like Relax. the building? If you just follow me, Mr. Kazim. How you doing?
Mr. Kasim. So good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. We I have Ingram have right where we want him. Excuse me for a second. 47, you know what to do. Have a drink. Stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Well, maybe not. I usually have my people talk to people like you. I the view is quite something. <laughs> Sometimes. I Carl Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance. Now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant. I believe you're done here. I hope it was a satisfactory meeting. Let me show you out. Follow me. is also out there looking but this is awful i mean i'm in my boxers and you are a woman it's just so embarrassing oh it's nothing i haven't seen before but you don't understand i'm military we military men are used to punctuality i i was supposed to be ready and present my papers half an hour ago Yes, you men in the army with your papers. Super punctual. I get it. Yes. Are you making fun of me? That's so cruel. Do you do you know what a man is without his gun? <laughs> man in his boxes. Crying like a baby. Oh. You women. I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. For sure, why not? Oh, whatever. news on the new guards, codename Pinky. I got word that he entered the building, but he hasn't reported for duty yet. Probably still down at the depot, getting his uniform. I just hope he's got his papers with him. I heard rumors that he used to work for that Dawood Rangan. You know, 
The Bollywood producer who died? Doesn't sound promising. <laughs> nope, it doesn't. Reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the... Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm. Bruce? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this Reaching, is security. Sir. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay. Wait here. He'll be here shortly. Mumbai. Okay. You must be my new escort. Yeah. Hey. I have very high standards and trust you will do your duty. You have your credentials on you? Okay. Let's see here. Well, you have been around the world. Mumbai, Italy, France, Japan. This is a very impressive CV. I think you'll do. Come on, let's walk. I need to tell you a bit about what I expect from you. I expect you to be by my side 24-7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important and delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. But with a knife? No. <laughs> That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who could throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here, and I never want to see your face again. Let's just hope he's half as good as you were. Only time will tell. But I doubt it. You cocky idiot. Look at that! Not bad at all. Oh, spot on! That was quite spectacular. a magnificent performance. I like you. I think we will get along just fine. You've okay, gained his trust. Me. What to do with all that well, power? Some things you should know about me, and this is very much on a need-to-know basis. I am here incognito. So I want you to stay close, but not too close. Especially when we are out in public. If you see a man with a bodyguard, it draws attention. Understood? Yeah, of course you do. Come on, follow me. Go. We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. 